Hey, I was going through the interviews that we did during lockdown a few weeks ago and I found this fantastic clip from Liz Mairns. She shared so much value with us on Elite Digital Space that I really wanted to share this again. This is the difference between fixed mindset and growth mindset. If you work in IT or data, the technology sector as a whole, you will know that you cannot survive with a fixed mindset. You have to have that level of curiosity, constantly learning so that you can keep on top of everything that is constantly developing and changing. But even just to develop your own skill set in your own organisation. So I really hope you enjoy this clip and I will post Lizzie's details below the video because you definitely should be following her on LinkedIn. Okay, let me know what you think. There's a lady, a professor in America called Carol Dweck, who uh, researched growth mindset. And uh, I think so many people can relate to this when you start to think about what this means to people, this, this concept of growth mindset and fixed mindset. And again, if you think about kind of, you know, the, the schooling that I talked about before and how many of us have been brought up and, and been schooled, um, this will start to, you know, start to sort of switch on some lights for you. So, you know, resilience, um, challenges, obstacles, learning new things, you know, how do you react? That would be a question that I'd put out. How do you react? Do you hold yourself back, worried that you won't be able to do it? You know, that you're not enough. You've got that kind of feeling of maybe initially you think I could do it. And then the old inner voice clicks in and goes, oh, but you're not, you know, you're not clever enough. You're not skilled enough you're not qualified enough you don't know the latest in this you know you're not confident enough about speaking up for yourself which is a big thing you're not assertive enough so all of that stuff about clever articulate you know funny smart all of that stuff kind of you know can come in here and you know so do, do you think that way because many of us do that's what holds us back and that's what's called a, a fixed mindset you know it's believing that i'm either good at this or i'm not you know, my my abilities are unchanging. I can either do it or I can't do it. Um, quite often, lots of us don't like to be challenged because it makes us feel like we're going to get it wrong. Mm -hmm. And, you know, again, let's think about that school conditioning. That means a big red X and a C me and, you know, consequences. And we take this forward into adult life. Maybe we've had bosses who um, haven't haven't liked us to get that wrong maybe with that maybe we're manifesting that a little bit as a boss now where you know we we want we we're not embracing failure we want people to get things right most of the time and we do believe that people are either good or bad at things so you know the women that I work with in management and leadership roles have got common traits I touched on these before you know there's people pleasing there's perfectionism there's the imposter syndrome um you know perfectionism we we have to be right Otherwise, I won't do it or I won't start. It has to be just right. Um, and the fear underneath perfectionism is that I'm not good enough. I'm not clever enough. I'll be rejected if I do it wrong. Um, so fixed mindset, intelligence is fixed. Challenges are to be avoided. To fail suggests that we lack the intelligence needed. Um, our effort is seen as fruitless well I've, I might as well not bother this is not my kind of thing you know I'm not very good at maths or I'm not a I'm not a very good speaker I'm not very confident um it, it reveals our limitations really so that it, it really brings out our limitations Carol Dweck said that individuals who believe their talents can be developed through hard work good strategies and input from others have a growth mindset um, they tend to achieve more than those with a fixed mindset. And, you know, growth mindset really says that intelligence can be developed. Failure is a, an opportunity to grow. I can learn and do anything I want to. You'll recognize, you'll have these elements in here. You'll recognize this. Challenges help me to grow. Maybe you're the type of person who loves a challenge, but maybe you shut down in other areas. Um, you know, feedback is constructive. I like to try new things. So really, challenges are, are embraced because you believe you can improve at a task. And, you know, effort is seen as worthwhile. It's worth putting the effort in because even though you, you might fail numerous times, that's OK. You're a human being. You're allowed to fail. And actually putting the effort in is the path to mastery. It's the path to getting where you need to get. And I bet all you ladies listening, I bet you tell this to your kids, right? I bet you say, <laughs> I bet you say to your kids 
keep trying, you know, you can do this, try again, try again, but I bet you don't apply it to yourself, always. <laughs> Thank you